the real size of Australia. Her Majesty's Ship Challenger. The distance from the Cape of the Good Hope in South Africa to Melbourne is 7,637 nautical miles. This is the actual route to 60 degrees south latitude. Cape of Good Hope to Melbourne. 36 degrees middle latitude, 7,637 nautical miles. Excellent concordance to rum line track at 36 degrees south latitude. You don't live on a ball. The cruise of Her Majesty's ship Challenger. Circumnavigation of the South. The Challenger expedition of 1872 to 1876 was a scientific voyage around the world of considerable significance in the scientific exploration of the South Pacific. Over 100 specialists from all fields were assembled to produce a rich body of data. Actual sailing distances prove. 1. Longitude diverges south of the equator. 2. Equator smaller than the purely theoretical unverified claim of 24,901 statute miles. From the ship log Her Majesty's Ship Challenger. Distance made good from Cape of Good Hope to Melbourne is 7,637 nautical miles. Melbourne stands at 37.81 degrees south latitude and 144.96 degrees east longitude. Cape of Good Hope stands at 34.35 degrees south latitude and 18.47 degrees east longitude. Middle latitude 36 degrees. The angle between is 126.5 degrees. 7,637 nautical miles, divided by 126.5 degrees equal to 60.37. That means 60.37 nautical miles to the degree at 36 degrees south latitude. halfway to Antarctica from the equator. On the fake globe Earth is 25,010 statute miles. The theoretical distance is 20,169 miles, but at 36 degrees south of the equator, Earth's diameter is greater than equator. Lies can only be based on lies. Let's look at the lie Carl Sagan. The dotted line goes to the sun. 3,400 nautical miles height of sun directly over the well at Sign. 432 nautical miles from Alexandria to Sign. The only way you can make a ball out of a shadow angle is by assumption. If you imagine, as Carl Sagan so frequently said, Two sticks 500 miles apart meet at 7.2 degrees at the center of a ball. 50 times 7.2 degrees equal to 360 degrees. 50 times 500 equals 25,000. Equator circumference is 25,000 statute miles. But Earth is flat according to distances actually made in sailing. Just two more examples and we will have enough data to calculate the real width of Australia. 
from the ship log Her Majesty's ship Challenger. Distance made good from Sydney, Australia to Wellington in New Zealand is 1,432 nautical miles. Wellington stands at 41.29 south latitude, 174.77 east longitude, while Sydney stands at 33.86 south latitude and 151.10 east longitude. The middle latitude is 37.6 degrees. The angle between is 23.6 degrees. 1,432 nautical miles divided by 23.6 degrees, which is the angle in between, equals 60.68. That is 60.68 nautical miles to the degree at 37.6 south latitude. At 37.6 degrees south from the equator, the fake globe Earth is 25,139 statute miles. The theoretical distance is 19,754 miles. At 37.6 degrees south of the equator, the Earth's diameter is greater than at the equator. From the book Zetetic Cosmogony The SS Nithsdale, of Glasgow, Captain Haddon, sailed from Hamelin Bay, on 8 January, 1898, arriving at Port Natal on 1 February, 1898, having steamed 4,519 nautical miles. Her log, of which the chief officer, Mr. Boyle, kindly gave me a copy, shows that she did not make quite a rum line track. Thomas Winship from the ship log SS Nithsdale. Distance made good from Hamelin Bay to Port Natal. 4,519 nautical miles, plus 100 miles to approximate rum line track, equals 4,619 nautical miles. Hamelin Bay stands at 34.22 degrees south latitude and 115.05 degrees east longitude. Port Natal stands at 29.85 degrees south latitude and 31.02 degrees east longitude. Middle latitude is 32 degrees, and the angle between is 84.03 degrees. Now you divide 4,619 nautical miles by 84.03 degrees, which equals 55. That means 55 nautical miles to the degree at 32 degrees south latitude. At 32 degrees south from the equator, the fake globe Earth is 22,786 statute miles. The theoretical distance is 21,138 miles. But at 32 degrees south of the equator, the Earth's diameter is greater than on the globe. Now let's look at the real size of Australia. Sydney is 33 degrees south. 33 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 123 degrees. 123 degrees times 60 nautical miles equals to 7380. Perth is located at 32 degrees south. 
32 plus 90 equals to 122 degrees. 122 degrees times 60 nautical miles equals to 7,320. Sydney is located at 151 degrees east. Perth is located at 115 degrees east. The angle between the two cities is 36 degrees. You can do the math. The distance between Perth and Sydney, Australia is 4,542 nautical miles. That equals to 5,226 miles, or 8,411 kilometers. You don't live on a spinning ball. Thanks for watching. This has been another video from Flat Earth, Banjo, USA, Japan, and Brazil.